Hey everyone, this is the next video in the series about JSON uh, tutorial. We are, have looked into introduction, syntax, and data types, and it's time we are covering. We are going to cover JSON versus XML. There are differences, similarities. Want to see other videos? Link is in the description box. JSON versus XML. So these are the screenshots that I directly have taken from the Wikipedia page or from JSON and XML. Want to know more about? You can directly go there. So JSON file name is dot json and it is internet type is application json it is uh, internet type is application xml and text xml text xml it is applicable when you are use uh, when you have created the rest endpoint and you want to get the data you want to call that microservice in that application to get some data over the internet so that data type internet media type uh, format is this so you have to give this name application json while using json and this xml while using xml okay so uh, what type is dot xml this is the uti confirmation developed by worldwide web consortium its type is markup language and it is extended from the sgml extended to numerous languages include, including xstml rss atm uh, atom and kml say and this is the standard this is the open format yes it is open format so open so they, you do not need to pay anyone to use this and type format of the json is data interchange and type code is text type code is text it is extended from the javascript and this is the standard that is that from where it is coming and this is the open format here yes. so both are open source and you can use uh, whatever you want you do not have to pay anything to anyone so there are some similarities so both are self describing they are hierarchical means uh, uh, you can have values inside values so both are able to parse properly and they are used both are used as data interchange format by many programming languages and they can be first using http request so if you know about the http methods they are there are get put post different methods are there right so when you create the rest endpoints rest uh, services uh, which is the trend of the day you get these ones so you can use xml and json both to interchange the data what are the differences xmls have tags start and end tags json does not need any tags xml is larger so if you want to represent uh, some data uh, so xml uh, XML is going to give you much larger file than JSON. So JSON is shorter because uh, you have to add in XML, you have to add some tags also. Takes time to read and write because the uh, learning curve is higher and JSON is quicker to write. There are no arrays in XML, can use arrays in JSON. Has to be passed before you. So XML that is uh, you are generating to interchange the data. So you have to pass that XML into your respective programming language to use that. But with the with JSON in JavaScript, from where it has originated, there are functions uh, that can directly use that. So in JSON, when you are using JavaScript, you can directly create that and use that. So XML is a bit difficult to parse and re with respect to JSON. So JSON is easily parsable and uh, only little bit code is required for that. This is the representation of that. So there are list of employees represented in JSON and XML. You can see the difference. So if you want to represent that in JSON, so you have to start with the curly braces and employees. Inside that you have list of employees, array of employees. So the detail of employees include first name and last name. It This is the keys, attributes that you have and this John, Anna, Peter, Doe, Smith and Jones. These are the respective values for the JSON. Right. So see how easily you can read and see that this is for that. So there is no other extra thing here. But in XML, you have employees starting tag, employees end tag. Inside that, you have to repeat it repeatedly. You have to read, you have to write employee starting and employee end tag anytime you want to add the that employee. So inside that, you need to add first name last name right so all the time the starting and end tag you have to add that right so see the how short json example is and how long it's xml example so this these are the some uh, similarities differences and you can decide which one you want to use 
right so in my personal opinion json is way way better than xml so you should start using that so i'll see you in the next video with the other topic in json right so till then take care bye, -bye.